Welcome back to the 28th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna refine and advance the AI and my idea is to pump out quite a lot of videos concerning uh, um, this kind of project because I want to finish it uh, well before the end of the year and therefore you will have uh, a pretty decent project and therefore after that point it will go into maintenance mode which just means it's over then the whole series has ended and of course i will leave you with a pretty decent ai which is in there and then there was a revolving doors which was asked also and therefore um then this will be closed uh, for infinity i guess yeah i guess for infinity and then of course you have a pretty decent project the itch.io page which i haven't updated will be then updated with the newest ai version a little bit a few extra things which i cannot uh, well, cram into the videos because then it would you know uh, the videos would take for eternity which i don't want either and therefore um, everything will be hopefully in a satisfying state on the video side so basically the series and of course the itch.io side where a few guys have uh, invested into well getting this project alrighty so if you want to know that and then let's give a little preview because uh, this is what we're going to do today so basically last time we pressed just the right mouse button then it was uh, the AI, AI which was going back and forth which is nice but now for example the enemy is seeing us in this kind of circle and then he's going to the last uh, position it's like oh he's go he's gone and then he's going back but of course uh for example if he's constantly seeing us in this ring of course here you can manage it um it will update all the time and saying that oh the player is there and therefore at some point it's like oh last time seen no he's not there then he will return to its place of origin and that's pretty much the video tutorial for today so if you want to know that stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing and doing all the shabam Alrighty, so here a little explanation what's actually happening so basically we got our player which is here and then our enemy which is here and then for example what we are doing is having for the player kind of a ring around him so let's go let's give the green rings or something like this perfect ring as you can see <laughs> completely symmetrical and so on and then for example once uh the enemy is kind of in this collision ring then it's like activating from the player side so basically the player is all the time activating and reactivating the ai of all the enemy which are in there so for now for example here's one but for example if you had a player in here then the ai is kind of is, are reacting and saying like okay is there a direct line of sight for example from the enemy come on to the player and for example here is none and here mm, no, it's still not but basically for example if we are getting uh, in here so let's go a little bit closer then there would be a line of sight which is for now good enough later on we will uh, advance on this concept but basically this is the whole thing and because we don't want to do it like instantly we will have a little variable which is just counting down and then for example if we are seeing the player for one second means like hey go to the player and then we will go to the whole routine which we did in the last video all right so we can kind of kill this and let's go into our project and there are only a few things which we need to do so first of all we need to have kind of a system which is looping and activating through uh, the player because he's kind of activating and deactivating how the enemy is uh, responding and if it's kicking in it's automated ai so for that we need just a few things which are not a lot so let's go into uh, where are we no that's not you here we go for the player we need an alarm event which we are which we don't have and this one will be looping of course we could go and do that through a step event but i think this would be a little bit of an overkill so first of all we need an alarm event which we will loop but for now we are doing nothing and then for example this alarm event we want to do i don't know let's go for uh, 15 times and for that i just have a little variable which i just call then ai refresh because we are kind of refreshing boom our alarm and then because we want to loop it all the time we need to do it and put it into our 
player here and then just refresh here we go and what do we do here first of all we need to as explained have kind of this ring which is a collision ring which is all the time every 15 steps so basically four times per second or every 10 if you like it doesn't really matter let's go for 10. Come on, let's change that let's go for yeah we actually did it for 10. all right so here we just say like hey have a collision circle list and then we have to do a list because let's say we have more than one enemy in the room then it would make sense to uh, collect and get all the instances which are kind of in this side ring and therefore boom we just say like okay if they are in this ring can we actually see the player so let's go into our project and then we just say like hey ds list collision so for example something like this so basically we can just copy paste that thing from as you can see collision list uh, circle list you can get rid of that dude here and just input it in here and here we have everything we need then of course we need to go on what we want to check so the object enemy which is good for us but 100 let's do that with a variable so our variable is then I would just call it a circle range but of course you can call it whatever you like then just put it into the player once again in there so our range is 100 pixels and later on for example you can change it upwards or downwards depending uh, how much of a kind of uh, side range you want to have so boom AI circle range so this is still 100 pixels and for now this thing is basically doing nothing besides destroying uh, the enemy which we don't really want but here uh, this is then the thing which we want to take so basically this is thing which is in there so the collision is just checking like hey is there um, an instance and here that would be the one and then we just do a neat little thing so basically we're just saying like okay is there an enemy so it's an enemy and is he actually seeing at seeing us and for that we just have then a collision line which we do between the player and the enemy so we just go collision align and then uh, x y so basically we are still in the alarm event of the player and then between the x and y of the enemy which we want to check and then of course objects objects and then what do we want to check object wall why is that well because um, the only thing which is kind of having not a direct line between the enemy and the player is a wall and then for example if there is a wall in between means hey uh, we cannot have our x-rays here so basically we are not seeing through the wall and therefore we're just saying like okay we're just checking if there is an obstacle which is for now just the walls and then if it's not great and therefore we just say like okay uh, have that stored into a variable how did I call that? Side line. Here we go. Just with an S. Side line. Yep. Just store that in there. And then, for example, the thing which could this collision line return is well, no one. So basically, there is no collision, which is good. Or if the if there is an ID. So we just say like, hey, is there a wall blocking us? So little text here. And then if no which is good then for us we just say like hey cool so if there is nothing blocking us what do we do now and then we can for example have something which could be instantly like so for example the enemy could see us instantly but this is not the best way to go and therefore we just go into our enemy and create a new variable in its create event and I don't know, let's call it uh, <laughs> ICU. So basically, nice little uh, Sauron uh, well, reference here AI ICU. And then, for example, we just say, alrighty, we reduce this variable by one. And then, of course, we need to do that inside the uh, thing which we are, uh, well, 
having a collision with so basically which we checked out and then for example if then we need to of course have the negative version for that so else so for example uh, we want to memory hold that thing of course if there is no such thing so else and this just means like hey uh, reset this variable to um, well, six again and then of course basically this means just because we are looping it so 10 uh, it's every 10 steps so basically in the uh, enemy needs to see us perfectly one second because we have a refresh rate of 60 so basically we need to get this value to zero and after that we see like okay we constantly see you sweet and if for example if we are not seeing you uh, we refresh that this is basically just the code uh, and what it is doing so for now this could be uh, nice but once again this is still doing nothing because we're just um, uh, well, making this variable smaller which is okay for us we could actually test it out but this is kind of boring so we're just saying like okay this is our final step and then we are pretty much finished with this video so is the enemy seeing the player for a second or longer activate his AI which we already set up in the last video so we just say like hey is this so if this uh, variable I see you is it smaller or equals to zero then we activate a few things and the few things are basically first of all we need to set the state of the enemy into a pretty much come on let's go in there um, into a state which we already know so for example the stage which is called check out which is then going into our user event and then in this user event it's basically updating the path where to go and then we can kind of recycle this um, event for um, going and chasing after the player and because it's refreshing every 10 steps so basically uh, we have a pretty accurate going of the enemy towards the player because it's all the time refreshing it's going into this state which is pretty sweet Alrighty, so we got this one set up and therefore we just say like hey we want the state of our enemy to be the checkout so we just go and, and overwrite this and of course we want to give it uh, well new parameters where to go which I just prepared that and where do we want to go where well, we need to have a position target X and position target Y and these ones of course are the positions of the player so the last position where the player was kind of seen so here just go X uh, come on and here we go Y and then we're pretty much finished because this is the whole magic so once again circle line if both apply sweet and then we see the player longer than one second boom let's go to the position so let's start it and then one last thing because we actually want to see our kind of um, circle so we just go under under draw and then just draw the circle range which we defined at the very start in the create event as 100 and just draw a circle around the player let's go for uh, four outline no and then for example we have a nice little thing which we see right now and boom oh this is way too visible alrighty so i'm just drawing below the enemy the i see you variable so yeah this is just a draw text event and then for example boom nothing is happening now because there is no direct line but let's say oh it's going down and then he's kind of following us as you can see numbers going down 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 but let's say we are going out he's going this is the last position he knew so as you can see this red dot and then he's going back to his original position and as you can see a pretty effective thing and as you can see oh and he is on us and then as you can see the last position like oh where's the player where's the player and here we go and of course you can refine it as much as you like so for example here He's just, oh, where's the last position of the player? I don't see him. And boom. And this little thing just 
does work pretty sweet and oh he got us again so as you can see pretty robust and of course we will have to uh, change a little bit his rotation because this looks clunky but this is of course for demonstrations and then we will go into the next video hopefully into attack states because then he's very close and we have other decisions like hey am i ranged or am i melee and then if i'm melee i need to go very close if i'm ranged actually uh, the enemy can start shooting. Already that was it from my side and I guess tomorrow I will do the second video of this series. Have a good one. One up indie.